Hey guys, welcome back. So in this lecture, we will add a photo grid content in our web page example here. A photo grid is a way for you to showcase larger groups of photos within a page in a grid format. It is great for displaying a cohesive collection of images. But first, let me add a header text. I'll call it, for example, our work. And now I'll click on this plus icon and select Photo Grid. This will direct me to this page in which it is saying Add Photos to Build Your Grid. And I have the Add Photos panel on the right side. So here I'll also choose to upload my photos from my computer, but you are definitely free to choose whatever you want. I'll select several images, then click Open. And as you can see here on the left side, they are being uploaded. Now this is how my grid will look like if I clicked on the save button. But before hitting save, I want to show you that whenever you select any photo in the grid here, you get to see some controls at the bottom where you can choose to replace the photo. You click replace, then go to, for instance, upload photo, select a new photo and click open, and Adobe Spark will replace this photo that you ask it to be replaced. I'll go back to the previous one. Next you have large photo button. If you click on it, it will feature this photo in a large size on your photo grid like this. If you want to go back to the small version, go to the same button which is now small photo. The next two buttons are the move forward and the move backward buttons in which you can use to change the order of that selected image in your photo grid. And last button here is the delete button if you want to remove this image from your grid. So here for example, I'll make this photo a large one. I'll change its order and make it photo number one in my grid here like this. And this is how my photo grid looks now. Once you click save, you'll get back to your web page workspace and you get to see the photo grid added. At any time you changed your mind and wanted to edit or delete this photo grid, simply click on it and choose the action that you want. If you click on edit, you will get back to the previous photo grid screen and if you click delete, it will totally remove it. And as you can see here, you can also add a caption to your photo grid by clicking on this label and start typing in your caption. Perfect! So this is everything you need to know about adding photo grids on your web page in Adobe Spark. So let's wrap up the main points covered in this lecture. So in this lecture, we have learned how to add, edit, or delete a photo grid on your web page in Adobe Spark. Add caption to your photo grid. Replace, rearrange or change order. Enlarge, shrink and delete a photo in a photo grid. In the next lecture, we are going to learn how to add another wonderful content item in Adobe Spark web page, which is a glide show. I hope you are enjoying so far. Please, if you do have any question or if anything that is unclear to you, let me know by posting your question on the discussion board and I'll reply as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and looking forward to seeing you next lecture.